back. Ah, Maddie's out of town. Figured I'd just pop in, make a few vids. <laughs> I haven't been here in a while. Uh, it feels nostalgic. Feels right, feels like home. While my other home is being constructed, which by the way, <laughs> gonna be insane. Before we get into this video, I was just gonna have a little snack because I found these on Maddie's desk, eating Maddie's nuts here. Oh, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Met ya. Let's roll the intro, this is getting weird. Are you ready? What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another video and today, oh, that was painful. I am very excited. This is one of those videos that you don't really, you don't ever get to make. This isn't, this is, this is a wild, wild video for me. It's a milestone, it's a life achievement. This is just something I'm so excited about. I've been working on this for 18 months. 18 months, flights, emails, phone calls, samples, just like a way more work than I actually thought was involved. The long story short, guys, I'm introducing to the photo market, my own camera bag. Yeah. I've got my own camera bag. It's the weirdest thing ever. It's it's a it's right here. Love you to meet it. This is the uh, Peter McKinnon Nomadic Camera Bag Pro. We've been working hard to bring something to the community that I felt was missing, that has tons of features that no other bag has right now, and this this is the answer for me specifically. Like it's it checks every single box because I made it check every single box. So right down from the incredible, super durable, ballistic tarpaulin, waterproof, like you could throw this in the freaking pit of Mordor and it would it would be just fine. They could have put the ring in this bag and then all their problems would have gone away. But on the back, you got all this, look at that. Fly the flag right there, bam, comfy straps. It just looks good, it looks right. I just am so excited. Okay, so why did I create a camera bag? Well, there was a lot of things missing from a lot of bags that I was using uh, almost, you know, from my entire life. I've used them all. Got a little bit of a bag problem if if you haven't noticed, but I just can't stop buying them. I love compartments and organization and OCD and, and every way the bags can configure to hold my things just makes my heart sing. But there's always something that's missing from these bags that then brings frustration, which then makes me throw them away into my basement never to see the light of day again. And I have a giant pile down there that my wife is like, what is happening with all of this? Trying to make the perfect bag was, I thought would be easy, definitely not easy. There's a lot that goes into this to sitting down with a team of people and going over textures and fabrics for the outside and the interior. And it's pretty fun, but then it gets like, it gets involved. We're talking about the resistance of zippers and how long should the zipper pull be? And should it be anodized? And if this goes this way, then this happens. And if this goes this way, then this happens. And you're like, I just, I just kind of want to make a bag uh, tonight and then, give it to everyone. But 18 months later, that's what we're doing. Really excited to show you this bag and all the features. But the main thing was we do a lot of travel. Sometimes it's two days, sometimes it's three days, sometimes it's a long time. But on the shorter trips, like I, I just hated bringing a roller bag with me and my gear. Cause backpacks historically never have room for anything other than just the gear. Not even a hoodie, an extra t-shirt, maybe like some keys and a power bank and like a couple accessories. But like I'm talking, what about three days of clothes? Underwear, shirts, jeans, hoodie, socks, toilet trees, how do we get those in the camera bag and still just only go around the world with one bag? Because that is what's the most fun and liberating when you're traveling, is not having tons of stuff with you. So that was the goal. How do we make that camera bag? And this is that camera bag. So here, before we go on any further, take a quick look at a teaser of the little Kickstarter video that is now live as you're watching this video. I'm gonna roll a little clip from it right here. Check this out. have a little bit of a bag problem. Anything with a compartment to put something into, I need it in my life. Stumbled across a little site called Nomadic. Browsed, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. Thousands of dollars later, I owned the entire lineup. It was amazing. So it wasn't until we got connected that we all thought, oh, why don't we just do the obvious? People have been wanting a camera bag from us. You seem to never be able to find the perfect camera bag. So why don't we just 
make one together. And that is exactly what we did. Welcome back, hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek. It looks incredible and I'm so, so proud of this. I want you guys to check out the Kickstarter page to get the full list of all the details, all the little bells and whistles that we packed into this thing, but I'll show you just like the super fast run through. I don't wanna spoil everything we've been working towards to set up that nice Kickstarter page. I want you to kind of experience it full over there, but I'll give you the quick rundown. You got side of the bag, magnetic water bottle strap, right? So that just tucks in there, magnetizes nice and flat so it's not being, uh, not being in the way. Your tripod also goes in here. Cargo straps up top, so you can cinch that down, make sure it's nice and tight. You've got straps down the front, so you can put anything you want, be it clothes, water bottle, gimbals, whatever, just strap it to the front, good to go. Quick access pockets, passport, keys, different things like that. Got my glasses in here, got my keys in here for when I come to the, oh, what does that say? I think that says, you know what it says. You've got a passport pocket in the front that's RFID safe and it closes with a magnet so you know it's in there safe. Listen, listen. Oh, love that. Your compartment up top here, that's where your clothes go. This little clamshell thing opens up and you've got all these compartments for clothes. So this is a clamshell so you can get t-shirts in here, you can get jeans in here, socks, underwear, etc. You've got this little this little clip that cinches down to basically compress all your clothing. If it's an everyday bag, you're not using clothing, then you've got all these nice little organizer pockets for your power bank. All those different charges, your hard drives, your rugged drives, and off you go. You got handles everywhere. You got a handle up top. You got a handle on the bottom. So when you're pulling this out of the overhead bin, you don't know which way you put it. It doesn't matter. There's a handle to grab. You got one on the side. You got one on this side. Bottom, you are set. Straps, super comfortable. You're carrying around tons of gear. That gets heavy. There's a waist strap. There's a sternum strap. These were specifically designed to also give you more support by pulling these up to get that weight off your shoulders and transfer it down to your hips because uh, I got back issues. Robaxa set is something I literally carry in my camera bag because my back always hurts. So it was really important to me to make sure that this wasn't going to destroy your life when you're carrying around all of your clothes and all of your gear, right? So right down to the resistance of the zippers smoothly opening so you're not stuck. And when you open this up, everything inside is just... <laughs> There's so many things I want to talk about. We'll save it for another video and you'll see it on the other page, but we went as far as making accessories that are designed to fit the specific compartments, like a nice hard EVA foam filter case for those expensive glass filters that you have, nicely tucked away into spandex pockets. Shut with a zipper to keep all that dirt and dust out and that goes perfectly into here. That bulk is kept to a minimum so that what you have in here actually shuts nicely when the bag is closed, it's not fighting you know, this isn't fighting what's in here. Right down to all those camera cubes I always talk about, having your stuff protected, again, in a nice hard case, place for all your accessories to go, memory card wallets. If there's more, you'll see it, but wait, there's more. Everything right down to the dividers has been fine-tuned and thought about. It's, it's a very thoughtful construction. I was thinking about the YouTuber, the vlogger, the content creator, the photographer, the everyday hobbyist. How does this just hit home for everyone? This is also a big part of that answer. This is probably my favorite feature of the bag. But I'm gonna, you're gonna have to go over to the Kickstarter page to see that because whoo, Money, okay? So that is just your quick little tour. We're gonna do a What's In My Camera Bag 2020 and it's gonna be a great one. It's gonna be at the new office in the cage. What's the cage? Well, that's coming soon too. All of these great things, this backpack, side access, it's, it is now available for you to back on Kickstarter. So if you wanna check out the project that we've been working on for the last 18 months, it would be my pleasure. The link is below in the description. Please check it out. Scroll through all the different tiers and options. Check out the photos. We worked really, really hard on this. So it is a complete honor of mine to be able to offer for the photographic community something that we put so much work into. Just being able to have my mark on something out there is, is, it's exceptional. I'm very grateful to everybody that supports me and supports this channel, which is almost at four million. That's insane. We gotta do something. We gotta go crazy. Let's burn down Maddie's office. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that.
I wouldn't do that to him and his beautiful hair. He's got beautiful eyes. Have you guys seen Maddie's eyes? That's it for me, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video. Smash it if that's something that you're into. 2019 Creed style. Just watch that. It's so good. Subscribe if you aren't already. And, and I will see you guys in the next video. Check out the links below. Thank you so much for your support. Bye. Sure. Can you put a new intro up of just like me and Bam with the bag maybe? When we get through this, I, w I would love some water. Should I set this up here so it's just it's looking nice while I talk? Yeah. That's nice. I don't puff that in. You know, we got nothing. I got it now. I got to do this whole video now. Mouthful of nuts. <laughs> okay, you, you're done. Stick your hand in frames and they know there's an actual human there. Yeah. Haters. <laughs> you guys seen Maddie's eyes? He's a good looking guy, actually. I always tease him about that and he's not here right now, but he's like, how do you always just manage to embarrass me even across the world? And if you're watching, bud, I hope you're embarrassed. Why do I not have water? And do we have anything? Is there milk? I'll take a beer. Maddie, so the water. Does he have his soda water here? Love Maddie. Well, oh, the door is blocked by our nice hair light. I can't do it, I'm not moving that back. It took like 10 minutes to position nicely for this nice side light right here, I'm not moving that.